power rankings. Huge change in this one, and this is really controversial. Obviously, I've got the Storm one, pretty self-explanatory, put on a clinic, looking sure things for the grand final. Now, this is weird, but this is how the draw has ended up. I've actually changed my order, and it's seen me put Manly at number two. I know it sounds stupid because they got pumped by Melbourne, but... Anything can happen in the grand final. You've just got to be there. You've got to buy a ticket to win the lottery, as they say. So you've got you've got to be there. And I just think with the Seagulls draw, I think they're next to the Storm. I think they're the second most likely team to make the grand final. I honestly do. Um, I know the Rabbitohs just beat Penrith, so arguably they should be the number two. But I just think the fashion they did it, it was really tough. It was really hard. It was gritty defense, but... Um, I don't think it, like, impressed me in terms of, like, attacking uh, flair or whatever. And I think the Manly could beat the Rabbitohs. So um, I've got Manly second, Rabbitohs third because of that factor. And then I've got Penrith fourth, sadly. I don't think they're the fourth best team in the comp, don't get me wrong, but I just think they're draw now. Uh, If they go on to win the premiership here, it's going to be one of the best wins ever because that's going to be huge coming up against, well, Parramatta is not going to be easy this week and then trying to beat the Storm the week after. It's going to be really tough for Ivan Cleary's men. And then I've got the Roosters in at fifth. Um, I know they're on the easier part of the draw, but I still think beating Manly, the Titans, Manly and Rabbitohs, I still think winning all those three games for this injury-riddled squad will be really tough. And then I've got Parra in at six. They have to beat Panthers and Storm in back-to-back weeks. Really tough. I'm all right. It's a miracle. Oh, yeah. Cheers, here's Siddle, 